What's going on, y'all? What is going on? Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for choosing once again to click on my channel. This is Oya Oya. I'm simply here to do my job. Get the messages to the collective. How are you guys? I just want to um, take time right now for all those who are dealing with the loss of someone and experiencing losing loved ones during um, spiritual warfare. So it's like it's 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 like stuff on top of stuff, things on top of things, shit on top of shit. You know, you're dealing with, you're coping with loss and not really being able to grieve it because you might have a death that you've experienced and then there's another death. And then behind that, you know, you're constantly under attack by these people that have completely lost their minds and have disconnected from their soul. You notice some people have had a, like a complete soul separation. They've driven themselves so far. Um, and in this time, you... You're losing and you've lost those that probably would have really had your back or really, um, you know, helped you in some way. You know, everybody just start, you know, sending that positive energy to each other. We all going through things. No one's perfect. We all fall short. And until then, we about to fuck this shit up. Let's see what we can get out of just gonna pull. I'll probably do some signs today too. Usually I don't categorize um you know how it comes out because we all go do through like different things, certain levels of it, but okay. Um there's gonna be this it's gonna be disruption in whatever plot there was to push some type of agenda um from like um the um school to prison pipeline. So um I don't know how you know connected to some of you are when it comes to the education systems and all that, but you know, a, a couple years back it was brought up about um, you know, some of these some of these children, you know, may need to experience things as adult as a way to like discipline them and everybody has their own opinion about it. I won't go into it too much, but just know it's been a disruption of whatever agenda was being pushed um to get children um not only uh miseducated in some type of way, but kind of like conform them to um accepting and being normalized around authoritative behavior also um you know not being able to be individualized with their uniforms and whatever the bully or whatever that goes through school um assisting in some people some children really being hurt and fueled with anger and different emotions that cause them to do like school shootings or something like that just know whatever the matrix had planned for Whatever the enemy had planned for, um, our children being taken out of schools into prison, um, that has been disrupted, okay? It's going to be a lot of people in the big leagues taking a major loss, and it's just what it is. I don't think a lot of them can accept it. Um, I, I believe this is why they come so hard against those who really, you know, and I heard of, like, fight the power. <laughs> those who really, who they say they are. You know, but have been getting attacked for so long. You know, this is why I don't trust a lot of the things that I see in the news because we don't know a lot of the people that was probably taken away was due to some form of injustice or some twisted ass plan that didn't work. But look at God. But yeah, people have to be taking some major losses when it comes to this matrix shit. So we got matrix in the middle. We can already see. Uh, what could be going on in the matrix and within the matrix right now? But just know that there's some people in the big leagues taking major losses. And I'm getting something about big rigs and trucks and tricks and big rigs and trucks. Um, you know, if, if something's going on with a big rig or something that could be going on 
Um, also, something under the mat of a truck. Um, this is like an 18-wheeler or something. Uh, but it's something about some tricks, okay? And they, these are around school, so who knows? All right, yeah, a lot of people have been trying to tamper with... Um, I always get the Adjustment Bureau, but a lot of people have been trying to tamper with not only people's uh, legacies, destinies, who they really are, um, just period, their well-being. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been trying to tamper with that, and it, it starts first with the, um, the money. If you haven't noticed, especially if you've been like a victim to confrontation spells and dark magic and dark arts, you know, some type of way you are, especially if you led to this channel because I've dealt with it, um, all of it, so... You know that, like, for some reason, people be on some bullshit at work, and they'll just get, like, attitudes out of nowhere. Know that they still a part of this little system that, you know, is only here to, like, cre just create distractions from who you really are and what you're supposed to be doing um, for the most high. And that's just all it is to it. And you learning, you know, you can't be as gullible. You can't walk around, like, you know what I'm saying, people are who you are. That was my worst mistake, was feeling like people really had a heart like I did or a soul, you know what I'm saying, wasn't on no fuck shit. But people really, they, they, they get dangerous holding their grudges for some shit that they feel they entitled to, they feel they entitled to, and that simply is just you. No one's entitled to you. Like, you, you gotta stop being too, too loving to, to snakes and dogs and rats and people that are beneath you. I mean, hate to say it, but that's what it is. They try to make it seem like we the ones beneath them, but really, you know, it's what it is. But um, just know it's, it's constant, continuous watching. Um, they're always watching. Hey, y'all. Bastards. They know I can't stand them. I'm calling them out on the daily. As long as I have breath in my body, you know, and my energy is unmatched. My ancestors, I, I, if you don't know, if you don't know by now, you'll never, never know. That's all I can say. Um, but know that they continue to watch and I don't know like if it's, it's as far as, um, if they do this as a whole, like it's something that's, that's bigger, like it's connected to some type of system with certain people's information in the system and, you know, they figure out how to way to temple and fuck with you all day. So just know, yeah. And that's crazy because it came out, um, right after they watching you continuously on your, um, all social media platforms and everything. That you could be chipped and trapped. So know that I had um I do my own research. I always promote going going within. On this channel, I most definitely say go within, get your connection to the most high, do your research, you know. And I had came across this and I was like, um, you know, you wanna know like how are they keeping up with shit like this? And we just, you know, you 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 trying to pay bills, wash the car, do all the things that you need to do that normal people do is, you know, living a normal life. But you don't know that you either chipped, someone had put a chip in you, but you're being tracked on a daily some type of way. So my personal experience is through cell phones. I hate cell phones. I know that they can do like mirror, mirror um, imaging and also, you know, some type of way connect your phone. And all the information comes there. This is how they intercept emails, uh, business deals, money that could be coming your way. Um, also, get your pictures. Still try to do like little Google Google level magic on them. Like the shit that they do is is crazy. But it goes to the serious that some people really are probably tracked and chipped. I mean, that's just how what it is. And I get that. Um, right after that, a lot of people about to experience a lot of loss. Okay. Because they can right have separations from their souls. And once you separate from your soul, I mean, however that goes, it's just however you feel it goes. But, you know, that's serious. They say it's death, but hey, if that's what you feel this is, <laughs> that's what it is. But just know, I, I've, I've been picking up Cali a lot, too. I don't know if, you know, people that's watching me is from Cali or this is how deep it goes. But I have my own connection to Cali. And I went there, and that's where I almost was... Um, human tra traffic and uh, kidnapped into sex slavery. So I know that, you know, a lot of this shit is going on. And, you know, whoever watches me is going to watch me because they know I'm on way. I got completely disgusted by how things are ran, you know, and how humans really are on planet Earth at this time. Like, it's, it's just sickening to me. So my passion is very different. You know, some days I'm going to be extra excited because I'm continuously keep my vibration up so these busters can't touch me. And then some days I'm just like, y'all, 
they 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 ignorant. So I have to explain some things to you how serious this, this, this shit really is. But it came out that what they did is unforgivable. So know that some some people are really that you are connected to. Some people are really into some deep shit. Um, not only as far as like doing government, you know, business deals behind your back and shit like that. Um, it, like maybe your medical records, well, they go far back, you know, maybe you need to see that. I don't know why, but I feel like that, um, you know, certain people were either, uh, experimented on or their blood was tested when they got here. And since then, this could be a part of the reason why. You, you've been tracked in some type of way because they know that whoever you are, you keep a clear, um, you keep clear communication to God some type of way. And they want to try to figure this out, y'all. And it's fucked up because it's like anybody can be, you know, God loves everyone. The most High loves everyone. You could be who you are. You just simply got to be a real human being with a heart. You know, you ain't got to be perfect. I got tattoos all up and down my body. I got, you know, um, shit that I still work out on the daily because I'm still, you know, accepting trauma that I went through and I heal and I'm healing through it. And that, and a lot of people are mad about that. But it's like you have to get into a daily practice of self-love and care and acceptance in order for you to heal. And then when, once you get all this information about how deep this shit goes, you're going to be like, man, I'm not participating in this shit. I'll be there. Is this really how y'all get down? I mean, that's just the reaction any normal person will have. Because I'd be like, what the fuck do people be on? What do they be thinking? Like, if I know I don't want to experience pain, why in the hell would I want to see someone else? Or even, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm an empath, so I'm going to feel a person anyway, whether it's their, their emotions, their energy, whatever. I'm just, it's just what it is. I've accepted it, and I'm, I'm very grateful to be in the presence in divine protection, peace, favor, mercy of the Most High. Why the fuck people mad about that? So, know that it's at this matrix, too. There was a lot of people on social media that was only there to, you know, influence you a certain type of way. We have all these different apps. We have all these different platforms. We have all these different things, you know, to where we can t attach to people. Now, it's good and bad to everything. It's a positive and a negative. Now, some of these people, they are really there to influence you in the way. And that's just not even influence you. This is just to maybe teach you and inspire you and get you on your path. It's not to, you know cyber suck i don't even know where the fuck that came from but not cyber suck and steal energy or secretly plot against you 